Another very useful thing you can do is to input either mathematical or algebraic expressions into parameter channels to drive their values. For example, I'm going to create a very simple column. I'll create a box and dive into the geometry node. Select the box node. For now, I will manually change the value of the x size to 0.4, as well as the c size to 0.4. But this time I will change the height of the column with a very simple mathematical expression. So mathematical expressions are the combinations of numbers with an operator. For example, 2 plus 1 would yield a value of 3. Or we could use 4 minus 0.5. and that would yield a value of 3.5. So, although these mathematical expressions are, are useful, uh, it is much more useful to use variables instead. And uh, these are algebraic expressions. We, when we combine numbers, operators, and variables, then we get an algebraic expression. So let me just uh, add a transform node below the, the box to move this column upward so that the base of the box is standing flat on the, on the grid. So we know the, the height of the box, but the height of the box may change. So this is where a variable comes uh, very handy. So I'm going to use a new variable, the variable y size. Oh, sorry, size y. to move the column upward. So now the column is flying, but what I know if, is if I divide this by two, so the height of the box divided by two, will put this box exactly on the origin of the grid. So no matter how I change this value, the height of the box, for example, I'm going to change the height to 5. This transform will always be, will change accordingly because I'm using this size y variable. So again, let's, let's use a simple expression, 2 plus 1, to change the height of the column. And it will always be standing flat here on the grid. Uh, 